So if you are just joining us, then you've picked a very good time to join us because we've five combinations left to go and they are five of the best in the world. Janelle Price and Dan Byrne from Echo Ratings in the studio with 7 me. 7.5. And uh, the first of those five competitors to come forward is a man who was on the podium at Gatcombe last year. On this very horse, it is Sally Ellicott's Zagreb. Finished third behind Gemma Tattersall and Ludwig Svenestal at Gatcombe. And a horse that has been top five Could at come home. come off the ground a little more. More 7. than capable 5. of putting in three very good performances in all three phases. And certainly, and watching uh, Alex's sort of path over the last few years, he's really um, come to the fore at, at the highest level. Um, I think it was probably Poe, maybe three years ago, he finished sort of top five with this horse, which was the first time I really sort of uh, wondered who he was and where he'd come from. But he's the nicest guy. Um, he does a, a great job with his horses, and um, this horse has had some you know, really top results. And it'd be great to see him having a, a crack at the wig later in the year if he gets a call up. He's a he's a pretty handy person to have around. A little as well. more over the back, seven point zero. Always useful to have one on the yard, and actually only really turned his hand to to full time eventing a few years ago. And he's actually really quite funny as well. <laughs> Eight point zero. Yeah, we're in Arkin last year, and he 7. did the ride 5. and drive, and um, he really had the crowd going. Oh, well, there's a lot of very good scores coming in. 8.5 for that extended trot. 25.7 trending at the moment. That would see him go ahead of Chica Bella P. Gemma Tassel into third. Now in an area which is the best test they've ever done. Any level. Currently their best is 26.7. That was in a CIC two star at Bicton last year. 27.6 is their CIC three star record. That came at Barbary in 2017. Anything below that 26.7 mark, and you're looking at a career PB for this combination. I know Alex would have been a bit disappointed at Babington. You know, he would have gone on with fairly high hopes, and for whatever reason, it didn't quite come together for the combination. Um, so he will certainly be looking for a, a standout performance to um, get get back on track. Who what? A nine for that extended walk from Les Smith at B. 7.0 and 7.5. One of the first nines we've seen for a walk so far. And there really are plenty of good marks. If the uh, canter work follows the same trend as we've seen with a few horses and picks up really good marks, then this is going to be challenging our leader. Good balance, 8.0. Zero. What's he going to get for his flying change? 9.0. Well, a 9 from Les Smith at B for that flying change. And this is producing some very, very good scores so far. Alex Braggs, a grab 24.5. He's trending the leader at the moment, Karim Laguag and Tebby de Oos on 23.9. He he's a very tall horse, but he's very elegant. Um, you know, he fills the arena with, with real presence. Be a little more engaged, 7.5. 7 7.5. 8.0. 7 Quite the nine of his first flying change from Les Smith, but still very good scores. And this is still on target to be challenging to be our new leader. Averaging 23.9 at the moment, Karim Laguag and Tebby de Oos are on 23.9. What is going to be his final halt? Alex Bragg, Zagreb. And he looks absolutely delighted with it. We're gonna have a new leader because the Alex yeah, Braggs no, 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 put in a up. really <laughs> polished performance. And this is going to be interesting to see those collectives come in. 8.0. And what a time to pull out a PB. I mean, not just not just a PB at the level, five. not just scraping a PB. 7.5. marks better than any test he's done at 8. any level. 8.0. I mean, that's... It's a good time. Good time to do it, Dan. Yeah. Very good time to do it. Well, Alex Braggs, the Greb, watch this space. Their score's coming very shortly. Hannah, this is getting pretty exciting close to the end.
Yes, absolutely, Nicole. Alex Bragg, a personal best across all levels on Zagreb, going into first place. Congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. I mean, we came here. He's he's feeling great after his summer break. He had a really quiet run last week, and um, we knew on a surface, you know, that he gives him every chance to really express himself because he's such a big horse. And um, yeah, you've seen the scores just racking up in front of you, and you thought, do you know, you have to go in there attack it. If something goes wrong, then so be it. But you've got to give yourself a chance of being in the lead and um and yeah for, for once we've done it so i'm over the moon we saw you on the podium in gatcom and this weekend could be no different he's a super jumper as well yeah yeah and generally he is a super jumper and he um you know like i say he he is feeling really good you know the spring didn't really go our way he had a few issues but now he's he's back to a1 and um yeah big jumping course on the surface could suit us and um the cross country is quite windy it's going to be pretty rapid and he's a big horse but um he's really genuine and um you know he, he doesn't take a hold so hopefully i can just keep my leg on and keep pressing and um well we'll see what happens tomorrow this is the man who produced a career personal best in the dressage yesterday. 23.6 sees him as the leader coming forward to the jumping. Derm, can he hold on? No, nope. Izzy Taylor's going to lead. Okay. One that... down from eight. Okay. Tell, it, tell us what you really think. <laughs> <laughs> Alex lived dangerously Got at off those to a planks. little bit of a shaky start. Ended up a fraction deep on number two, but the horse tried. Hopefully after his little rub on, on the planks, he'll start to register that he needs to go a little bit higher. Here's the bogey fence. He's good. And it's interesting the dynamic the pressure puts on Alex. Wouldn't have been in this position before, but he looks like he's holding it together so far. Jumped clear rounds at Blenheim in uh, 2017 in the Event Rider Masters. He jumped clear rounds at Gatcom in 2017 in the Event Rider Masters. Belton in the CIC three star, he had two down, but all looking very good so far. Needs to hold his lead and would be pulling out what would be a huge career PB again. This next fence is uh, one of those that has come down eight times. Doesn't come down a ninth. Alex Bragg okay on time with Zagreb. Will he be our leader going into this afternoon's cross country? He's just got to clear the last, the pressure is on. But Alex Bragg, cool as you like. 23.6 gives us clear round number 11. And he will be last out over Pierre Michelet's track this afternoon. He's been playing up to the French crowd all weekend. We hope that he'll be able to hold on to that lead. It's a British 1, 2, 3, uh, 1, 2, 4, I should say. But uh, lived dangerously at times. Well, Alex Bragg, you were living life a little dangerously in that round, but all the poles stayed up and you remain at the top of the leaderboard. Uh, yeah, I mean, he was jumping super outside. I knew that I had to attack between fence one and two and get the eight strides to get into the rhythm that you needed for the time. I landed after fence one kicked on and I think I nearly went on seven before I finally changed my mind. And um, it just took me a few fences to get into the rhythm. Um, luckily, he's, he's so talented. He'd he done a super job and... Um, Looking at it, being kind of six seconds inside the time, I should have just breathed and relaxed and um, had faith in the fact that, you know, he's he's got championship experience like at four star and stuff. And he he is always good on the clock. So next time, I think I'll just come in and breathe. Everybody put the fear of God into me yesterday, saying there were, there were no clear rounds. The time was really tight. So I... Yeah, I think I started off maybe, I'd say a little bit wild, like I was at Cheltenham Races. And, um, but yeah, by the, fit, by the end, the horse settled and um, he did a great job. He's clear and he's still at the top of the leaderboard. So uh, all to play for. First ERM of the season and uh, you're not leaving anything to chance. I mean, a superb performance. Yeah, I mean, I've not managed to do many of these because... Um, I, I didn't have that many horses that were uh, qualified to do them. So I have to save them for the big three days in the spring. Um, now I've got a chance to do it. The ones that I have done, I've always tried to be very competitive. And um, we've come here to, to try and win. And um, two steps out <laughs> gone. And now I've just got to do the final one. So hopefully you'll have a good skip around the cross country this afternoon. And um, it'll be happy days, champagne um, everywhere. Casual as ever, Alex. I love it. Very best of luck this afternoon. Thank you very much, Anna. Person ...comfortably make the time, having made a very similar mistake. So we'll come back to her shortly, but this is the leader at the moment. Alex Bragg, Zagreb, they led after dressage. They led with a faultless clear round in the show, jumping 23.6. Their starting score would be chasing that time. 
but uh, Alex very neatly clear of the first real question. Alex Bragg and the grep. Currently on a score of 23.6 as they come to the event rider master splash. I think that's the tightest line that we've seen there, Fred. Yeah, and you see all these horses out there and getting the four strides quite easy to the fence in the water in the beginning. The horses jumped down much more cautiously and most of them got the five. Alex Bragg, the grab. Going clear of the 11th. Well, this is the only combination that can challenge Tim Price, who's taking his place at the top of the podium. Gemma has to go down into second. Izzy Taylor will be coming for that position in just a moment. But Tim Price, will he take his first ever Event Rider Masters leg? Well, Alex, 23.6. And... Uh, the grab is looking very fast so far. Alex not wasting any time on any of his turns, Fred. No, so, and so far he's looked very good over the jumps as well. Now, the one thing I would say is that those uh, two seconds over the time for Izzy Taylor have actually just cost her a potential one-two finish here because... Uh, she would have been inside the time without that slight error, of course. Now it is Alex Bragg who can knock Tim Price off the top spot. And uh, let's go and have a word with uh, the man on top of the podium. Alex Bragg is the only man that can take him off the top spot. Hannah, can he stay there? Tim Price, you and Wesco are back. Guaranteed a second. How does it feel? Yeah, I was just saying to Billy, I don't think I've had another one quite like him, you know, so it's, it's just so, such fun having him back. Uh, yeah, you don't know until you know, you know, when they come back and um, right up to leaving the start box, number one, um, I was still, you know, hmm, how's this going to be? But then it just all came flooding back and he had a great time and so did I. Congratulations, Tim. Cheers. Thank you. Back with Alex Bragg, Zagreb coming to the St. James's Place table and corner. He goes through there, taking its strides out compared to what we've seen others go through on, barely touching the reins. And actually, we're going to get a clock check on him as he comes to the SAP splash at the final water at 20. And he's 10 seconds up on the clock 10 seconds up on the clock he has three seconds that he can let the clock run over to still go ahead of tim price and wesco alex bragg is on course to take his first ever event rider masters win here this weekend and i, d I don't have to say it, but he's looking very solid at the moment uh, <laughs> it's very nervous yeah. saying anything at this point but what a performance it's been across three phases He's very near home now, but he delivered a career personal best in the dressage. He showed jump clear, and now he's edging closer towards home. The fairy tale of Wesco returning with a win will not be something that Alex cares a lot about. He's got an opportunity now to get the big check and to get Zagreb his first event rider master's title. They're coming through here with almost 10 seconds up on lots of others, Nicole. Well, Alex Bragg just needs to clear the last two fences with Zagreb. He can take his time. Sally Ellicott could be about to book herself a trip to the Monarchs Bar a little bit later on this year because Alex Bragg and Zagreb are about to take their first ever Event Rider Masters leg. There were question marks over the time, but they delivered in all three phases. 23.6. He had time in hand. He didn't need it. That is a huge performance from this young man. Oh, very impressive. Very impressive across every phase. I mean, I didn't think he would pull out the dressage record. I didn't. I wondered if he would jump clear. He has shown the form to be able to do it. And what a performance that is cross country. I mean, that looked so comfortable all the way. She showed speed, but also such control. Yeah, it was very deserved. Please give a very warm welcome and congratulations to Alex Bragg. I'm going to have to interrupt the love here, Alex. <laughs> <laughs>
You do. Congratulations. Oh, Top you. spot. Yeah, over the moon, over the moon. I was uh, riding like a demon out there. I really wanted it. So, uh, yeah, these guys were fast. And um, I can't believe I was actually faster than um, Izzy and Gemma. I mean, they're crazy. Tim's quite laid back, so I expected that. But these two girls are fearless out there. So, uh, yeah, over the moon, the horse was great. He just, um, you know, he's got so much experience. And um, he's back on form, which is super. Grand national style in the show jumping and grand national style across the country. Yeah, you can tell I'm a little bit competitive and, um, you know, I've got a uh, point to prove this summer and autumn, really, because I didn't have a great spring. So, um, yeah, this, um, this, is, this is a great start, great victory. And uh, I think we'll be popping lots of champagne when we get back to the UK as well. But um, a great, great, great audience here. And um, everybody in France, thank you very much for uh, accommodating us. Your winner, Alex Bragg. <laughs> The owner of Zagreb is presented with a two-night stay at the Monarch Hotel in Ireland, compliments of the Monarch Elite event horse sales.